Shalom, winners of souls, but give no praise to Yahweh, Barshem, Yahweh, Shah, Barshem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles of great most and honors to you brothers doing the work of the most sign truth and then sincerity. Yahweh's real name of whom the world ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, or Yahweh. His real name is Yahweh. The son's true name is Yahweh Shai. And when we pray, pray Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bermini In, Hamin Dan Sham, meaning names Yahweh, the name of Yahweh Shai. This one, it's a quick one. You know, more on, you know, just how these individuals, they ain't the real ones, man. Okay, so I wanted, I was, I um, forgot, I was, I, was, I was listening to something uh, the other day. Um, basically, it ended up being just a joke or whatever, what have you. Uh, the individual I thought originally was, 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 was you know, one of these uh, double O's, right? Um, but they actually weren't their partner was, but I was, you know, speaking about abortion and, you know, shit like that. Right, and I was basically wondering about, you know, what the religious... Uh, if you will, right, the, the the religious makeup, right, of, of, of that state is, right, because we understand that they're, you know, they ain't the real ones, right, which is completely contrary to what the scriptures say, right, the scriptures say that basically when, you know, when that land was uh, reoccupied by the real ones, okay, that basically truth would flourish, right, righteousness would flourish, right, but all, you know, the, 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 the laws, Right of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh would be exercised, but that's not what we see over that land, right? So I just look for some numbers. Right, this is uh, from Pew Research Center. Right, so it's um, that states religiously divided society. Right, deep gulfs among them, as well as between them and the Arabs. Right, over political values and regional and <clears throat> and regions' role in public life. Right. Um, so it says, and I'll look into this graph in a sec, nearly 70 years after the establishment of the modern state, right, it's, uh, you know, that population remains united behind the idea that that is a homeland for the so-called people, right, and a necessary refuge from rising anti-anti around the globe, right, and, and this is the thing, it's like, it's like, you imagine someone being an asshole, right, and then they keep getting called an asshole, so they become even more of an asshole, and then complain about why everyone calls him an asshole. That's what this Edomite is doing, right? Because he is the enemy of the world. He is the he is the hated of the world, right? You know these Edomites in general. Um, let's grab. Where I'm just fucking remember how. Nah. Right, so there's Obadiah, right, one, um, uh, uh, and, and from the top, this is the vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord Power concerning Edom. We've heard a rumor from Yahweh, and an ambassador sent among the heathen, arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I've made thee small among the heathens, right, thou art greatly despised, right, made thee small, yet despised, right, so this, this Edomite is despised, man. Okay, and, 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 and very much so the, 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 the head of the Edomites, which are these Amalekites, man. Okay, but they're going to continue doing more and more and more so that people are going to hate them more and more. Okay, but let's carry on. It says, but alongside these sources of unity, a major new survey by Pew Research Center also finds deep division in their society. Right, and in the kingdom, there ain't going to be no division. Right, we gonna be one. Right, we gonna be all in agreement of um, you know, of 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 of, of, of well, under the law, right? Under how about Shemmy Al Shai? Okay, we ain't gonna be vexing each other. They ain't gonna be a, 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 you know this this section or that section. No, we just gonna be one, you know, one nation, right? Um, it says, in fact, that's what that's Isaiah fourteen, isn't it? It's Isaiah fourteen from the top. It says, um, for the Lord, uh, Yahweh, will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Right? And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Right? And this, these strangers, are talking, this is talking about Israelite foreigners. Okay? And we all go on, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the Israelite foreigners, wherever they are. When, when the Lord brings us back together, right? there ain't going to be no divisions. Right? There ain't gonna be no division, regardless of where you know we originally came from, right? What type of Israelite foreigner that they were? Because as I'm reading this, I'm thinking about Isaiah 11, right? It says, um, uh, so it says Isaiah 11 from 10, right? It says, and in that day, 
right? Um, shall there be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people, to which shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. So a root, line, seed, root of Jesse, Yahweh shall Gentiles be in the Israelite foreigners. Right, so then it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathos and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath <clears throat> and from the islands of the sea. Right. And, you know, you're, you're, when you're reading this, you've got people that are you know, so-called Christian, uh, people that are so-called Muslim or whatever, what have you. But in the kingdom, there ain't going to be none of that. Right. If you're Israel, it's just gonna be Israel. And even of these heathen nations, they ain't gonna be <clears throat> worshiping no other uh, other uh, gods, right? When when they're in our kingdom, right? All of that ends here. <clears throat> it's a larky, right? It says, and he shall set up an ensign for the nation, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy from of the envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Right, Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. Right, representing the northern and the southern kingdoms. Okay, so right now, you know there is that en enmity between between the two tribes, but the Lord is getting rid of that. Right, you know you got the you know black and brown together, as 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 the saying was, which you know need you know we're we're not black, right? You know we're different shades of brown, but it is that notion of basically the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom getting back together. Now Esau with his various witchcraft and various programs tries to keep that division, right? But the the, the Lord Jehovah Shem Yahweh is 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 more powerful than anything that this devil can do. Okay. So let's carry on back here. Uh says so not only yeah. So it says nearly all of those identify with one of the four categories, right? Heredi, right? Uh, commonly translated as ultra orthodox dati, which is religious and ma masoti traditional or heloni secular right and when you look at this image here on the right in fact i know what i can do i can do that right it's not the best quality right but you can see this is majority secular right? it's majority secular right uh as in i mean yeah you could this i think well, that's what 30 yeah this is 41 percent versus 40 Right, but then when you add in all of this other stuff, right, base you got a whole load of the population, the majority of the of the population, right, doesn't believe, right, in 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 the scriptures per se. Now we understand that none of these, you know, truly believe in the scriptures, right, because if they if they did, they'd understand, right, that they ain't the people, okay. So then this is other article secularism. Right. Um, so it's so a secularism in that place shows how matters of religion and how matters of state are related within Israel. Right. And this is the problem. We ain't about state. Right. Here you, you read here a separation of religion and states is when he first proposed his ideas of political. That word Theodore Herzl right, was expecting the future of the state to be a secular one. Right in the style of Central European countries of the time, such as Germany and Australia, right. So this guy, he was basically he he was basically saying it's going to be just a secular state, right. However, that is not the case, right. One it ain't no state; it's a kingdom, right. Which once again proves that these ain't the ones, right. Is Hosea three and four, for the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king and without a prince and without a sacrifice and without an image, without an ephod. And without teraphim, afterward shall the children of Israel return and seek Yahweh their king, right? And uh, so, so Yahweh their power and David their king, and shall fear Yahweh and his goodness in the latter days. So the Lord basically, um, well, the, the 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 Lord in Hosea the first chapter says, "Look, man, I ain't gonna deal with y'all anymore, right?" You know, just you know, say settling that, settling it down to its most basic. Uh, form of a statement, right? The law's like, look, man, I ain't dealing with child no more, right? But then, you know, at the end of this story, right, we were gonna, we would basically come back and, uh, you know, regain who we were, right? Remember who we were. The Lord would, 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 would open up that secret again, right? And then one of the things that we would do, right, is we would look for our king. We would look for King David, right? Now, we in Great Mosul, we believe uh, that King Marsha is King David, right? We believe that we found our king, okay? 
And in fact, he is our king. Let me, let me say it like that. That is King David. Okay. So this here is fulfillment. Now, when, you, when you've got a king, guess what? That's a kingdom, right? It says uh, Old English uh, kingdom, right? See king plus dom, right? King being a, a ruler, right? And dom basically going into a domicile, right? So it says abstract uh, suffix of state from Old English dom, statute, judgment, See, doom originally an independent word, but already active as a suffix in Old English, as in freedom, wisdom, cognate with German term, jurisdiction, uh, jurisdiction, hence province, state, condition, quality. Right, so the province of a king, right? Not a secular state, right? As 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 these guys want to basically push out. That's not you know that's not what uh, 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 you know the scriptures teach, right? As we just read, you know, we would seek for a king, right? And having a king means you have a kingdom, right? This is Isaiah 2. This is the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last day that the mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountain. Now, a mountain represents government, right? That's why you have summits, right? Even to this day, you have the G7 summit, G20 summit. Right, um, it says in the top of the of the mountains, like the other governments, and shall be exalted above the hills, like the smaller governments, and all nations shall flow unto it. Right, many people shall go and say, "Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh, to the house of the God of Jacob, and He will teach us of His ways." And and where are these ways found? They're found in the Scriptures, right? So this is um, uh, where is this? Deuteronomy four and six. Right, um, it says, uh, and five, right, it says, um, uh, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgment, even as Yahweh my power commanded me, that ye shall do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. So that's what we would do. And this is this would be all Israel, not a, not a, not a segment of Israel, right? All Israel, right, would would would, would follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Right, it says, keep them therefore and and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely, this great nation is wise and an understanding people. For what nation is there so great who hath the most us know so nigh unto them, as the Lord Yahweh our power is in all things that we call upon Him? And what nation is there so great that hath statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law, which is set before? which I set before you this day, right? And that's what they're going to be doing here, right? As, 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 as we're reading Isaiah 2, right? They, they're going to be saying, yo, look, these, these Israelites, look at them, right? Because they remember, in this time, we're going to be, we, the Lord is going to have listed all of these curses from off of us and given us all the blessings. We're going to be shining. We're going to be, you know, people are going to be like, yo, that's the way to be, right? These heathens, they're going to be saying, that's the way to be. Right, and he will teach us of his ways. So he'll be like, oh, hey, look, you know, basically the fulfillment of this, right? It says, um, and we will walk in his path, for our resign shall go forth the law and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. Okay, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And he shall and and, and, and that's it. We ain't gonna be allowing these heathens to be um uh, uh uh you know doing whatever they want to do. They're gonna be under subjection. Okay, ain't gonna be no worshiping any other gods in the kingdom of, of, of Israel, right? Whereas when you look once again at this, look in that land, they're allowing all of all of these other stuff to be going on in that land, but that's completely off, according to the scriptures, right? It says, um, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Right, so uh, we we already know that that ain't the case, right? We, what I mean, what's happening right now, right? And this is Hebrews eight. Uh, I'm just gonna jump straight to the point, right? I'm gonna start from ten. Right? For this is the covenant that I'll make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. Right, so this is the second covenant. So I'll put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I'll be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor. Right, and every man his brother saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Right? Once again, that's not what we're seeing here. Right? You even of the ones that are, you know, so called the, you know, the ish, right? They 
forty percent of them don't believe, right? Forty percent are, 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 are secular. Right? It's just an identity that they can use to 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 you know, boss their way around the world, okay. But these times of scripture saying that all shall know. Right, and uh, I'll, I'll end with this is Isaiah sixteen twenty one. Thy thy people also shall be all righteous; they shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. Okay, so all all of us being righteous, that's all of us having the laws in our inward parts. Right, and that's is going to be all Israel. Shalakia, not like what you're seeing over there amongst those people. So as always, laws was edifying. Until next time we say, Shabbat